Now this is a very dirty CO2 diffuser. It's important that these diffusers are regularly cleaned or they can't work efficiently, such as this one. But that's currently bubbling CO2 into the plant tank, which actually also needs a clean, but that's not what this video is about. So the way that this CO2 system works is that we've got a bubble counter, which is this, and we're aiming for about two bubbles a second. We can just adjust the, um, the valve to regulate how much bubbles go through the um, bubble counter. So we're monitoring how much CO2 is going into the system. Now this is a solenoid. Now the solenoid um, um, is plugged into the power, so therefore it's on the same um, timer as the lights. So when the lights go out, then the CO2 goes off. Because you must not run the CO2 at night time um, because the plants will produce um, CO2 at night and you can potentially kill your fish. So that's our CO2 bottle. Then there's a little regulator on the top of the bottle that you open up to open the bottle up. Then you've got your fine adjuster here which is going to regulate how much CO2 goes into the tank and then you've just got a couple of gauges that let you know how much pressure is in the line so it is really important if you're running CO2 to also ensure that your um, pH stays around neutral so we've got a little regulator here which just helps us and make sure that your KH level doesn't get to zero so you want to run a KH level of about four and you find these bottles here last for about three months and then you just take it down to um, BOC or somewhere to refill it and away you go. So once again, if your pH goes acidic, that means you're putting in too much CO2. If your pH goes too alkaline, that means that you're not putting in enough CO2. So it's very easy to regulate the amount of CO2, providing that you've got a um, little CO2 bottle with a regulator and a solenoid valve to ensure that it's not on at night time.